Hello everybody and welcome back to another Little Eden run. We are jumping in here, just restarted a few times to get something a little interesting. We've got a pretty interesting item for health here, and also we've got a little buddy here. So we can take a little love look here. So, uh, grants us two soul hearts on use, can only be recharged by killing eight life seed sprites. Sounds kind of interesting. Uh, we may also spawn a temporary bomb, a, a grimace, on the first visit to a room. That's our trinket. And Little Hornville uh, rewards you for bombing tinted rocks. Interesting. Gives you a bomb-related item if the last floor was cleared without uh, taking damage. Okay, nice. And has a chance to fire a burst of tears when hit. Okay, kind of cool. And then obviously we have a library here as well. So let's check out our item room off the bat. Uh, I mean, this. Wow. Okay. Uh, good old C-section. C-section baby. We like it. We like it. <laughs> I haven't had a C-section run in a really long time, especially not on YouTube. I said not on YouTube, like I play at Isaac, not on YouTube at all, but yeah. I haven't had a C-section run in a very long time, so obviously quite a lot of fun to be had here. Quite a lot of fun to be had. Um, Yeah, I gotta say, it's 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 kind of crazy to get in. I actually cannot really believe that C-section resides within the... Um, Within the uh, treasure room pool, it's kind of crazy. You'd think it'd be like a secret room or something item. But as you can see, obviously, everyone knows and loves C-section. Oh, there's one of those lifeblood things, look. So, they're going to spawn from killing enemies by the looks of it, from from what I just saw there. I'm really hoping we get a bomb here, because there's a tinted rock back there. And little Hornfell said that he's going to give us... Um... Oh, there you go. He's going to give us bonuses for bombing tinted rocks. And I want to see what those bonuses are. I want to see if it's like just additional loot. It might be stats. It might even be potentially be an item. I, I doubt it's going to be an item, but... Oh, wow. That was unfortunate. Mm, I mean, that was kind of nice. Good, good. And no bomb, unfortunately. But we did get a bunch of keys, which means that we can check out this library, which could be very nice on its own. What am I hoping for from here? I mean, honestly, library card would not be a bad idea. I would like to grab the library card. Um, unfortunately, no such luck. But we did get the Necronomicon, which is unfortunate because not the best. I was hoping for at least get, um, at least get Bookworm in here, but... Can't always win. Uh, so teleports to an out-of-map curse room. Interesting idea. That's a secret room teleport. Keys will drop more often. We can take that to the end of the floor there. So we'll do this first and take us to the secret room here. Which is going to give us the old urn. We do have a bomb now, but do we want to use it here? Uh, spawns three to... Um, three soul stones will spawn runes... Okay, that's only three soul stones. How valuable... Is that to us, is the question. Would I rather have the Tinted Rock? I think I'd rather have the Tinted Rock, to be honest. Like, they're not going to be super useful. And I want to see what this guy gives us as an extra. Oh, okay. He gave us some extra money. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, nearing the amount we need to actually get out of here. Uh, teleport to an out-of-map care room sounds somewhat useful as well. Uh, let me just check out what's going on with this shop here. Uh, unfortunately, nothing great. So, out of map curse room, I was hoping it'd be one in which we'd gain some HP. And I'm kind of hoping we gain a bomb out of killing this guy. As for a question of the day here, though. Um, what What's an item that in Isaac, like C-section, what's one of those quality four items that you are just ecstatic to see every single time? I realize I'm doing a lot more Isaac question of the days here. But there are some new viewers and a lot of them are here for the Isaac content. So, keeping it Isaac themed a little bit more than usual. So I'm wondering if these life seed little creatures are going to spawn from bosses here. I'm completely unsure about that, but it would be interesting to see if they do. Ooh, I got hit by something there. I'm not quite sure what. Oh, uh, the red fire, I think it was. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, cheeky blighter. Ooh, there's, there's one. There's one. There's one. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Okay, that's charged now. That gives us two soul hearts. Wow, that's a, a very, very good active. Um, I think we will take alt path here just because we're feeling reasonably powerful. And I think you'd all agree with that. I mean, health-wise alone, it seems like we're in a good spot. Um, uh, we I was wondering what that noise was, why we got like a negative noise there. But I think it's because um, we didn't get the no-hit floor. If we get a no-hit floor, we get a bomb upgrade from Hornfell. So we want to be trying our hardest to do that. Unfortunately, can't grab that. Sulfuric Acid, though, is pretty great. A little bit of damage up is nice. Um, bolstered by our damage multiplier that we just gained. Oh, I do not. I do not like that room. Wow, okay. Um, 
But Sulfuric Tears is going to be very good for certain rooms. I do want some extra fire rate. That's sort of next thing on the list here. Because um, at the minute, we're not really putting out a ton of our C-section boys. Should have waited on this guy to give us another bomb. I really like this trinket giving us these on occasion. Seems pretty darn useful. To be fair, I have these Sulfuric Tears. If I can just get one to pop at the right time, it should just kind of decimate any rock that we see. I'm going to go back and do the extra rooms here because why not? Oh, of course I was hit. I was trying my absolute darndest there. I really was. Is that just a regular penny? Yeah, I think it is. It's not a nickel or anything, is it? It's a little hard to tell with the reflected items. You've got to be a little careful. Okay. Did we go into the shop yet? No, we didn't. We probably do want to go into the shop at some point. These ones that can skate around are really problematic here. The ones that can move, because we're moving them a lot with our uh, with our babies, and you can see they're managing to fire quite a quite a large number of tears when that happens. So I think the tears based on movement there. Ooh, there's a half soul heart to repair for the sins of the past. Okay, good, good. Um, yeah, little annoyed I got hit here. I want to try and get as many bomb upgrades as I can from Hornfell. Um, I didn't realize that was something that that would be so in our favor. Um, I do wonder if it can happen every floor. It might not. Right. Let's check this out. Ooh, what's this? Um, gives your consumable gives you a consumable orb that uh, that always grants three to four sandy familiars and can give additional. Oh, it's a sacred dreams item. I see. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I think for now though, we'll take the Beretta, um, because why not? And we will buy the Soul Heart as well just to keep our life flowing. But yeah, the Beretta here, not super useful. I don't find confessionals amazing, but they can pay out on occasion. And if they do, it's obviously pretty goddamn useful. Right, we shouldn't have too much of a hard time with this guy whatsoever. I'm hoping he pays out with a, a sexy little fire rate increase, but we shall we shall see. That's pretty good. I'm going to peep in here. I'm probably not going to go for it, though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave this. What is this book, though? Oh, it's the Bleeding Book. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay for either of those. Thank you. I'm going to stick on the potential of Angel. Even though I have just scarped my chances slightly for the Angel chance. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. So here's here's this bad boy. Um, I do think this won't count as getting hit, I'm hoping, in the eyes of Hornfell. I think we gained a Soul Heart out of that then. And we got another library here, so... This is good. Right. Uh, mark all enemies by white crosses. If enemies are already marked, um, summons light from above... When marked enemies die, they shoot a beam of light in four directions. Pretty goddamn good. Um, we've got ourselves the Book of the Dead here, obviously. We've got ourselves... When picked up, spawns three random cards. You can collect up to five cards in the book. When used, activates all collected cards. Oh, man. I love the idea of that. Um, That's only quality two. Wow. Okay, so I think I'm going to be taking this. Even though this thing's really, really good... Um, ooh, adds 100 luck for the current room. Sacrifices up to two familiars and spawns an item for each familiar sacrificed. Um, unfortunately, Hornfell, I, I, I'd rather keep you. Um, so let's have a little look-see. How exactly does this book work? When picked up, spawns three random cards. You can collect up to five cards in your book. Okay, so we take that one, that collects it. Ah, and they count as a pip of charge. Um, hold the drop button to discard all cards. Now, the question is, are, they re are these cards reusable? I don't think so. Like when the, when it, I'm going to try it in this room here. So, are them cards just gone now? Also, this is actually a decent room to use that black hole on. Apart from that, that was slightly unfortunate. <laughs> so, are those cards gone now, or are those cards now permanently stored in my book? Let's let's uh, let's see if the if if the item charges by room clearing. It doesn't. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this. I quite like this. It's kind of difficult then, because th this this book kind of sounds good, but I don't know how often am I gonna be able to stack up five cards in it? Like how how often am I even gonna want that? Maybe we go with this, the gospel instead. Try that out. I and mean, we'll try it on this 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 big room up here. Not this one, the one next to it here. 
and we'll see how it performs. In here, yet another book. It's a it's a book filled run. You'll look for I don't mind look for it all. So in this one, it'll mark them all with a white cross. And then when they die, okay, that's that's pretty good. I think I think we'll probably keep that on. Although it's not great for bosses, mind you. Um, it's a really tough decision. What was the other book that we had? I'm, I'm doing a lot of umming and ahhing here, but there's a there's a lot to wager. There's a lot to wager. What was our other book here? Um, in uncleared rooms, light beams will strike at random positions marked by crosshairs. Light beams damage enemies and inflict burn, but damage the player too. Spawns two friendly orbital ghost familiars when entering a new floor. On you, sacrifice one orbital ghost and cancel light beams for the current room. Hmm. It's tricky. It's tricky. I think, I think this book is the most interesting thing right now. Kind of want to go into that boss trap room, but I, I would have a ways to go if I wanted to actually commit to that. We've got a really good trinket here, by the way. This, uh, this scorch wood one is very, very strong. Can I, can I pop a secret room here? Indeed, I can. Lovely. Unfortunately, not the secret rooms we're really looking for here. But, do you know what? I do not mind, I do not mind a fire rate increase for the floor as well as some extra hearts to go and use on our confessional here. I'm going to try and make as much use as I can as the confessionals where I can, because I tend to kind of leave them behind a little bit and not fully utilize them. Because they're, they're kind of bad, but they're kind of good at the same time. I mean, we got an eternal heart out of that one. You can't complain there, can you? We also tipped the balance towards Angel for this floor, if only a small bit. Ah, look at that, breaking that rock. Get it right out of the way. But yeah, having 20-20 now is really, really nice. That effectively increases our DPS and fire rate, kind of, as well. So we'll pop this. Ooh, this is kind of interesting that it, it, it does the segments. So what would be great is to have a way to use this book twice, because it denoted that enemies that are already marked, it'll automatically trigger on. So if we can get the battery, that would make this a lot better against bosses. We unfortunately did get another devil deal here, which is not really what I was hoping for. But with the extra HP we have now, I don't mind it. Um, I mean, there you go. We got duality there. Um, now we now we can just pick which one we want. Either way. Right. Did we actually get hit this floor in terms of me getting hit? It depends if Hornfell counts um, the confessional as getting hit. It shouldn't, but it might. Modded items do be funky sometimes. Right. It's kind of nice to get these little bomb flies going as well, you know. Our, our guy's looking like a real, a real fat sir right now. Cake around his lips. God damn. Hello there, good sir. I'm going to blow you up. I know the ferryman doesn't drop anything, but this guy does. I was kind of hoping for exactly that there. A payout of a bit of red health. The more we can give our confessional, the better chance we got of getting an item payout. Although item payouts are exceedingly rare. There you go. Anyways, right, let's go to the next floor. I think we're good to go. I'm not going to bother continuing on the uh, the alt path here. I'm going to skedaddle down to the regular path, I think. I think that's okay, okay. Ooh, this is kind of nice here. Hey, we did get it. Nice. Hot bombs, pretty good stuff. <laughs> Just having the bombs alone is very nice. And now we can use this confessional right at the start of the floor. And we got blessed. Very nice. And we got a soul heart. Lovely. And then we've got all these little bomb dudes to, to chill out and help us. Oh, uh, wait, no. I was going to say in the next room. They don't carry to the next room, so that's not ideal. Let's grab that. That fire's ours, yeah. That, that, that's going to trip me up for a little while, that is. Remembering that the fires are ours. Hey, we got a tinted rock. What extra reward will you give us today? Some extra bombs back. And we got a zealot heart. Zealot hearts are very interesting. They essentially give us a lemma get and wisp if we manage to carry it to the next floor. And booster box. Very, very intriguing. Booster box is quite dangerous, but also great. Basically, when we kill an enemy, it has a chance of triggering a card. And it can be pretty much every card. There is a few that are blacklisted, but it can be a lot of different cards, which can cause a lot of success and a lot of problems. So we already got a justice there. More money. I really like him giving us money. That's very, very nice. Okay. Lovely stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have room for those, but it's good to have them there just in case. Yeah, there, there's the danger look. It spawned a temperance right next to us. I have died to that on the lost before, so... 
it can it can really mess you up if you're not careful. Oh god. Yep, I hermited as well there. Great. Wasn't my intention, but we're here now. We'll try and come back with a penny and grab that booster mini capsule thing. Unfortunately, my uh, my tears destroyed the mushrooms, which in turn just got me hurt straight away. So we're not going to get our bomb upgrade this floor, unfortunately. Well, there's a penny. Oh, no. Wow. Normally you get a penny in those. I was very ready for a penny there. Unfortunately, we are going to have to be at the whim of when our... Uh, there you go. When those, the yellow babies want to come out. Dude, the libraries are going nuts today. What is happening? This is so many libraries. There's that penny as well. Got a burn heart there. We don't really need that right now. So we got Book of Sorrow. It's not... Book of Sorrow is not bad here. We also receive plus five luck. I'm not quite sure why that is. I still like Gospel the best. But the plus plus five luck and plus one fire rate is pretty good. It's only it's only received for the room though. How are we on seven out of three for Bookworm? It seems kind of meh that it's that much for the room. But it's more useful, I guess, than this. But it's more interesting. Gospel's more interesting. It's not just stats. It makes a difference. Right, let's go back and get our capsule. I forgot about that for a hot second there. The capsule could give us some very, very good stats. It only gives us three, but you never know what you could get. It's pretty good. We got damage and luck. Range isn't much of anything. Although, actually, I don't know how range interacts with um, C-section, so it might be really good. I'm not quite sure how it affects it. If it affects the lifespan of the uh, of the C-section babies, then it's, it's pretty decent. Okay, this time let's not have the same repeat as last time. I didn't realize it was going to be a worm last time either. Wasn't ready for that. Good, good. We'll pop this bad boy. I like the fact that it can chain react like that. We got the tower popped there. Good, good. And then we just, just fire everywhere. 33% chance to spawn a fire on death is, is pretty darn good, to be honest. I should probably try and get, there you go, a few mushrooms destroyed here. Judgment, I'll save for a little bit later. Where's that red heart? There it is. Grab a for that. Thank you. Okay. Having absolutely no problem with these regular rooms, but it would be nice to get a tier rate up off of this boss. Potentially see if we get an angel deal here. We've got duality, so either way, whatever, whatever deal we get, we can enter an angel deal at least. It's probably a good room for this. Yeah, the, the fact that it can chain react is kind of awesome. On these large rooms, it makes a big difference. Ooh, secret room that I wasn't actually looking for there. Good, good. Right, we'll crack this open. Tool, 15% chance to damage um, enemies of the same type. Very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, no. Now our tears are just tears, though. How dare you, Tool? How dare you? There you go. It's, it's, it's a good item, though, regardless. Oh, hello, Judgment. Um, when did you get there? I'll play you a little bit. Why not? It's only three players, but hey her. Right. Boss, is, this active's not really going to do much of anything, but we can we can believe. Oh, dude, look at the damage. Look at the damage, baby. Some extra luck. We're doing reasonably well on luck at the moment. Puzzle piece. And I think we're just ready to go down to the next floor on this one, aren't we? Yes, we are. Full on HP. That's why I kind of got rid of that soul giver, whatever you want to call it. Well, another zealot heart here. The little health thing that we started with, because we just don't need it with the amount of HP we got right now. Look. Oh, dude, I need to be way more careful about being hit. I mean, I got hit twice in this room, so... What do I know? I do not like not being able to see my health right now. Crack both of these. is pretty worthwhile, actually. Got a good amount of money out of that. Enough to go shopping with. 
Random HP up. Oh, I forgot I've got luck foot. I need to be taking pills like crazy. My bad. I I, I realize some of you may have been uh, screaming hellfire at me for this blunder. My little tears have knives. Um, I apologize. I kind of forgot that luck foot doesn't just work that way on Kane. Right. Let's keep it moving. I got a pill in here as well, apparently. Yeah. I, I, I probably left quite a few pills behind accidentally here. Balls of steel, not necessary, but nice. Did I play the machine this floor? I don't think I did today, because I don't know what my health is. It would be potentially foolish to do so. Oh. Enemies that spawn enemies, spawning a fire on death is uh, quite, quite lovely. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Shoots four homing rockets. Each one deals 25% chance of bomb damage. Okay, we're changing it up quite a bit here. We're changing it up quite a bit, but I feel like that's pretty interesting, right? That's just a rocket launcher from Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and I'm, I, I think there I saw it spawned uh, fires as well, so it should, it should work with our bomb upgrades too, which is very, very nice. Oh, hello. Another pill. We gats to take it. As I said, our luck is doing very, very well right now. I can't really be hit at the minute while I've got all these burns circling me, so I don't have to worry too much until they... Uh, Dissipate a little bit. Yeah, I don't have to mess around with that room. Spectral helped me very much though so here. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but like I said, it does spawn fires and stuff, so... And it's interesting, isn't it? Although the gospel book's good. Unless we have the battery, I don't think it's amazing, because it can't really do anything on bosses. Which is where we typically want to use something like that that does high damage, right? Not the most ideal. Okay, Devil Deal. Um, unfortunately, duality didn't work there, and I don't have the duality fix mod on, which is a little frustrating. There isn't no Krampus for Angel Deals, which I find odd. Of course, we get the Axe of Item. Lump of Coal would have been amazing here, but... Of course, that's not what we get. I'm going to quickly go back and check out the shop. Little unfortunate here. Little unfortunate here on our on our deals. We've kind of not really gotten lucky at all thus far with them. But, eh. You win some, you lose some. It is what it is. It is what it is. Extra bomb, thank you. I did get um, four uses here. One, two, three, and four. Doesn't do much for us, but thank you. Oh, it did clear my curses. It did clear my curses. I like that. I know that I can use it a few more times now, actually. We got a dice room here. I don't typically use dice rooms very often, but I'll at least check it out. A full run reroll with C-section. Oh, there's just no way it could be as enjoyable, right? There's just no way it's going to be as good. Small rock. A few bombs back as well. Nope. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I can in good faith re-roll out of a C-section run. I think pretty much anyone in their right mind would agree that that would be a, a terminally wrong idea. Right, you know, pop yourself up. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Damn, as if we haven't found the shop yet. We're getting kind of unlucky on that front. Oh, <laughs> High Priestess doesn't really help too much in that scenario. We could turn ourselves into the White Fire uh, Ghost, which would be beneficial for Devil Deals, but otherwise kind of a wash. Okay, good. Back up to nearly full Red Hearts. Champion's Belt, lovely stuff. Glad I actually came all the way back here, to be honest. That was quite the trek, but I think it ended up being pretty worthwhile. Now, do I want to continue playing the confessional on this floor or the one on the next floor? Or, or, do I want to play the this? That was it. I knew there was something. There was, there was, a, there was a demon beggar somewhere, but that was last floor, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? Oh, 
How am I going crazy? Demon beggar. Demon beggar. Let's see if we get one. There you go. Demon beggar. Take your time paying out, my guy. Take your time. Give me a telepills. I mean, at least it was a telepills to literally right next to him. But. Dude. It's got to be one of the worst feelings when these guys just refuse to pay out. Okay, we'll go. We need something that heals us to fall every every time we go to the next floor. <laughs> Seems like a very good item, to be fair, but it would be nice for playing these confessionals and such. But yeah, I really like the fact that... um, I really like the fact that we can... What the hell is I talking about? I don't remember. I've, I've lost my train of thought completely. Um, I do really like the fact that, that something... That, that, that much is clear. That much is clear. Right. We get ourselves a little bit of HP here to do that. I really want to get my bomb upgrade going this time. I really want to get my bomb upgrade. Oh, dude. We we fired out two regular bombs there. And that was because of 2020, right? That was kind of weird, but... Nice. Look at the amount of fires we've created in this room. That was a good room. That was a good room. Ooh, a whole... Okay, we're definitely keeping that in the back pocket for a rainy day, I think. Just in case things start to go awry, that's going to be pretty nice. Okay. I quite, quite like having this commander rocket. It's... It's pretty fun. We got a battery charge for it there as well. So if we just hold down fire while this is going. Yeah, when we fire, it fires like... Ba basically, the way this item's working is it's kind of giving us Dr. Fetus for a hot second. Which is kind of genius. Okay, can we can we get that guy? Okay, he, he burned himself to a crisp. Here we've not got much going on, although, although we do have this balls of steel. I I'm going to see how we look at the end of this fight, but at the end of this floor, but I could be tempted by sack rooming. Ooh, I will grab. I don't know, will I grab that? Do you know what, I think I'm just going to go for it now. It's, it's, it's potentially a waste of HP, I've realized, but I've got a lot on me right now. So let's go one. Uh, we should really try and half fill this... Uh, this as well. Do we have a red heart in here, maybe? Oh, no, it'll, it'll backfill. doesn't matter. Don't worry about what I'm talking about. It's nonsense. I won't be able to fill the burn heart for a little while here. Hey, we got an angel teleport. It's an active item from Battle Fantasy. Removes all of your red heart containers. If you have less than six soul hearts, it gives you more soul hearts until you have six of them. Gives a negative damage multiply and repeated use... Gives a negative damage multiply and repeated use. Has a special synergy with Black Feather. Removes all your Red Heart containers. If you have less than six Soul Hearts, gives you more Soul Hearts until you have six of them. That's not great. That's not great. I'll pick it up because I think it will remove my Red Heart. Okay, no, it only removes my Red Heart containers if I use it once. Okay, so I'm going to do that, because I think that's better value. But I don't think I'm going to take this with me, unfortunately. I'm going to pop that as well. Isn't how I was looking to play this, but I'm not displeased. That was an interesting item that is kind of pretty specific, I'd say. Uh, I'll buy this. Yeah, it's kind of pretty specific, but this 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 literally leaves us at full HP. I mean, technically, I could, um, I could go one more time for a potential to spawn an item. Yeah, let's try it. Ah, unfortunate. I lost one of my Purgatory Ghost boys, but I thought it was worth it for the potential chance of an angel item, you know. You gotta give those things a try. Right, boss is probably gonna be up this way, if I was to guess. I'm gonna have to take a pause in just a second here. Okay, let's keep this train a rolling. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, thank god that rock was there to stop that and slow that down a little bit. One second. Okay, we are good to go. I'm going to just rocket in here. Oh, no. What have I done? <laughs> that was so stupid. Talk about trying to not get hit. I forgot I shouldn't fire. Oh, dead bombs, though. 
We, we saw that previously. They were pretty good. We could get some use out of that, definitely. 2.5% chance to fire a special spectral tier which teleports enemies to a different location. Ooh, not great for me, thank you. Ooh, counterfeit. Aw. Oh. The temptation turns red hearts into coins. Okay. Commando, you've had your fun. We're just, we're doing Ring Around the Rosy with, um, with our active items this run, but I think that's kind of fun. We've been everywhere we need to go here, luckily, so we'd have to go back to those rooms back over there. Unless necessary, but it's not necessary, so we're good. Cool. Trinkets, I'm sorry, but... Oh, no, one second. We got a game crash there. Okay, I've pretty much replayed up to where we were before. Things are slightly, slightly different, because I didn't do things in exactly the same order. But I pretty much replayed everything. We're going to see if we crash again. Hopefully not. Okay, we're good this time. We're good this time. Isaac, do be Isaacing sometimes. You've got to be patient with it with modding. It's not super common that it crashes anymore since Repentagon came out, but it can on occasion. But normally, luckily, it's pretty easy to get back to where you were. Um, but I had to replay the floor, so I did that off camera. Um, and we're pretty much back to where we were before. Pretty much everything's the same, I think. I think, I think. We do get an angel deal here, but unfortunately it's the one that we've already been to. I'm pretty sure, at least. So let's just check. Yeah, it is. It's that box thing again. Which seems interesting, but obviously not really right for us for this run at the moment. We're doing perfectly fine on HP, so this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Hey, I got my no-hit thing. So that's a little bit cheaty there. We got Pyro, unexpected. Very, very nice. We got that, and we got Rocket um, in a jar, which is actually really good with the bomb upgrades we've already got re uh, already. In addition with Pyro. I think this is pretty interesting. Oh, we get some invincibility here. Pull our invincibility to get an extra one there. Luck upgrade. So, we got 45 bombs here. Yeah, we, we ought to be using our bombs a decent amount here. Because we can get some damn good stuff off of doing so. Especially considering they got homing and everything. And it seems that we're getting a Bernie pretty much guaranteed after a kill there. Which is... Pretty damn good on its own. We'll pop this chest open, take seven coins to open this bad boy. Typically seven. It can be less, I think. Telepills. A little bit of a shortcut. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm liking this setup right now. As much as C-section is good, all this stuff together is, uh, is, is working to massage my brain to make everything feel very satisfying. <laughs> it's just one of those satisfying runs. I need to, like, remember this with Hornfell in the future. Hornfell's very, very strong. The fact that you can get a bomb upgrade every floor as long as you take no damage. Obviously, it's kind of a tall order to take no damage on a floor. Um, it's not super, super easy, of course, but worth trying. Dude, Contra... I don't know why, but I just had a feeling that was Contraband as well. Contraband two floors in a row is nuts. <laughs> That's an extra six items just for giving up an active item slot, which I think is... Uh, Pretty darn worthwhile. Look at that herming, baby. I'm going to get balls of steel here as well. I'm going to take the balls of steel rather than the soul of the lost, I think. Potentially more worthwhile. There's some burn boys for us. Another one of these bad boys. Silver dollar. Decent, but not, not my bag right now. Yeah, look at our burn friends we get. Very nice to have. Very nice to have indeed. Unfortunately, we have gone every way but the right way so far. So let's see if we can go the right way this time. I'm glad I have so many bombs as well. 40 is quite a lot to just have. It's mean that we can use like one bomb a room reasonably comfortably for a little while, if not the rest of the run pretty much here. I don't even know how many rooms there'd typically be left. We don't have to use one every room because we have C-section, so... Oh, dude, these chests, normally they're pretty rare, but we are getting a lot of them right now. I don't mind, because they potentially have some pretty good stuff, and the fact that they're giving me more bombs back is uh, is pretty nice. I think it's likely to be up this room and then down, rather than going back to the starting room. But you never know with Isaac. You never know. And Pegatry Ghosts are killing my, uh, killing my friend here. Yeah, they just killed him. Don't appreciate. Okay, it was this way by the looks of it. We just keep getting our bombs back. I love it. Have we been hit this floor yet? I don't think we have, have we? Let's be a little more cautious here. 
Extra key, don't particularly need it. Extra red heart, don't need that. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I mean, that was actually maybe kind of useful. Um, puzzle piece, I'll take the puzzle piece here. Puzzle piece. There you go, we got nightlight out of that. Not the best item ever, but it's, it's decent. Hey, yeah, we got we teleported to our boss room through that. Thank you, wisdom. I will bomb these just because. The hell's that? Automatically unlocks the door for Downpour Mines Mausoleum after defeating the boss. That's a really cool trinket, but unfortunately not necessary for this run. And I would be a bit too late even if it was. <laughs> I like that. Empty Vessel, we are very close to that being useful, so that's uh, good to have. A Devil Deal is all that stands between us. And let's see how the contrabands are panning out for us here. Oh, we got Sigil of Bathmet. Okay, we did get this. Uh, Bombs teleports the nearest enemy before exploding. Very good stuff. Um, and we get that. We also get Forget Me Now, which is pretty good for later on. I think I'm going to be taking Sigil of Baphomet at this point. So how exactly does this work now? Okay, so the teleporting doesn't actually do anything with the rocket bombs. It only does something when our bombs are stationary. So, for example, if I don't fire and I put a bomb down like this, it should... Okay, no, that just didn't work. I don't know why that didn't work. Thank you, Sigil, for doing your thing and doing it nicely. Yeah, the uh, the, te the tech bomb thing there didn't didn't quite work the way I was hoping it would. Among Us boy, got him. You may notice I'm leaving a lot of stuff behind right now. I just apart from bombs, I don't need a lot right now. What's the, what's the what's the best? It's another contraband. What's the best? It's another contraband. Ah, oh, imagine, imagine. I knew it was time for you to come eventually. We, we want more bombs than we started with. Oh, beautiful. Unfortunately, not the best here for us. Not terrible either. Keeping my balls of steel here. Beautiful stuff. We have gained a lot out of this. Okay, we're ready to go. Oopsie. I revealed some people that I didn't want to reveal. Keep forgetting I have sulfuric acid tea as well. I could just be shooting like to get through the room without actually completing them. Which is kind of nice. You watch it do trigger that on the uh, mum fight here and stomp on me. Ooh, hello. Somewhere to use my money. I love these little shop things as a, as a way to have some usage for your money late game. I think it's a really good addition. There you go. I was just trying to beat out the last phase there. So I used a couple of extra bombs. We did get perfection. I, I'm not going to take it because I think actually Sigil is better right now. And our luck is pretty goddamn good already. Hey, Midas bombs. Lovely. The fool. Midas bombs is interesting. Unfortunately, it's a little late for it to be uh, super amazing, but... It's pretty good. Probably should have gone for the champion one there, right? But oh well. And we'll use that forget me now pretty much straight away on the next floor. Dude, mapping here is absolutely amazing. Thank you. So much so that we can just uh, blitz on through some of these rooms like this. Don't even have to complete them. Oh, look at that bunch of money from that guy. That wasn't even with a Midas bomb. That was just money for money's sake, apparently. The game just felt like awarding me with some. I like these enemies, where the little psi brain hops between the hosts. It's a cool idea. This floor explores some really cool ideas, to be fair. That was a little bit bullshit, i got to say. But you're going to give me an angel item now, so it's okay. Ah, oh, come on. I asked for it. I... I I said please. I didn't, but you I'm just, just pretend we did. We do have a sacrifice room all the way to the right, but one of the special sacrifice rooms, so... Uh, 
kind of interested in that, but we'd have to take quite a lot of damage to make use of it, and I don't really want to take a lot of damage right now. Grab that bomb real quick. I'm going to be using a lot of bombs on the uh, this fight coming up here. I don't even know how I'm going to thumbnail this episode. There's just so much going on. Ooh, a quarter. Not necessary, but thank you. So now this guy's not going to get a ton done to him from uh, thingy. Remember when slowing down tears used to shorten their range? Oh boy. Slowing down tears used to be like the absolute one of the most overpowered things in the game. Like nightlight and stuff used to be insane sensor. Because the tears would just have like one third the range and not even be able to reach you. It was kind of insane how overpowered it was. Right, good, good. And we get ourselves eight chests here because of forget me now. Kind of a lame usage of forget me now, but it's it's also one of the best. A little unfortunate this was a mega chest here, but we got some good stuff out of it. Cool, cool, cool. That's a lot of extra range, thank you. Just to be sure, let's have some more. Right. Sadly, that active wasn't on the, the next version here, so we have an active to use, but hey her. Hey, that counted as a floor complete without getting hit. That's nice. We got clicker here. I don't really care for clicker. Good stuff. Coconut milk's changed the, the, the visual of our tears here. The, dude, dude, the animation you have is just egregious. Just stop being a pain in the ass to everyone that you know and love. Keep our balls of steel for now. Haha, <laughs> I love this. I love this. Luckily, I don't have to worry about Clutch hurting me because I have Pyro. Not as big of a problem. Beautiful. D1 and Polar Star. Neither really pique my interest here. But Brother Bobby, oh my god. The man, the myth, the legend, Brother Bobby. Look at that, all of them turned to coins. God damn, it's a shame we don't need money, isn't it? It's a real shame we don't need money, because we have money in abundance right now. Absolute abundance. Corruption? I don't know what Corruption did. Whirling Leech. Not bad, not bad. I think, um... I think Coconut Milk is doing some weird stuff with our tier's range. You see how, like, they're, they're kind of, like, chasing, but they're really, really slow to do so. I think Coconut Milk's got something to do with that, which is a bit of a shame. It does eventually, like, catch up and stuff, so it's not a huge, huge problem. Oh my god, the amount of money. We need an item that, like, money collected over 999 gives, like, a 0.1 damage up or something like that. Super specific, but would really help out my scenario around about now. Yeah, you get gone, boy. You get gone. I think Tool just killed all of those in one fell swoop, which is kind of crazy. Down to 32 bombs now. Steam sale, I don't think I need that so much. Oh, really? What an annoying room this is. Yeah, I'm going to get hit here. That's just an inevitability. It's a really cool looking room visually, but goddamn, could you make a more frustrating room to play? How did that rocket not hit? What happened there? Oh, it's circling around my goddamn fat boy. I don't want reflux, thank you. Here we go, and we got 30 bombs exactly for the boss fight. I'll save all of those.
Alright, let's go. Stop going after the Bernie boy. He's not your primary target. Not your primary target at all. Thank God he's gone. As much as I loved having him around, thank God he's gone. Yeah, we are doing a mighty fine job here. So much herming in our life right now. Little dumpies keep me alive. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Bit of a weird run, but a fun one nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.